Okay, looking at the next problem, again, this is a continuation of sections 1, 3, and 1, 4. It's a very good review about linear uh, equations. Are the graphs of these lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Well, what we have to do is we have to compare their slopes. Now, the problem with this equation and this one is that they're not in the correct form. To, to actually find the slope of this line and the slope of this line, we need the lines to be in the form y equals mx plus b. That's called slope-intercept form. So let's start here. I'm going to write this a little bigger. 5x plus 3y is 8. If I subtract 5x from both sides, 3y is equal to the opposite of 5x plus 8. And then when I divide by 3, I end up getting y equals negative 5 thirds x plus 8 thirds. So this is now in the correct form, okay? m sub 1 is negative 5 thirds. Excuse me. So what you have to remember is this. I must be allergic to lines. Um, Whenever you're trying to decide if two lines are parallel or perpendicular, the line, the equation of the line has to be in the form y equals mx plus b. So I solve this equation for y, and I now know its slope is negative 5 thirds. Okay. When I come over here, I have the same problem. 3x plus 5y equals 4 is not in the correct form. This form, by the way, is called standard, the standard equation of a line, which you may encounter in your next course. The most important form right now we need to be dealing with is slope-intercept. So to solve this for y, let's subtract 3x from both sides. 5y equals the opposite of 3x plus 4, and we are going to divide by 5 y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 4 fifths. So m sub 2, which what I mean by that is the slope of line 2, is negative 3 fifths. Now, negative 5 thirds is the slope of line 1. Negative 3 fifths is the slope of line 2. Again, where I want you to be careful, I have a lot of my own students tell me yeah, they, these are perpendicular. No, they're not. Perpendicular, if they're perpendicular, their slopes have to be opposite reciprocals. Now, granted, the 5 thirds and the 3 fifths, you know, were reciprocals. I mean, that part, but these are not opposites of each other. What I mean by opposites, one would have to be negative, but the other would have to be positive. So don't fall into that trap again, okay? If there was no positive sign here, if it was just, I mean, if there was no negative sign here, if it was just 5 thirds and this was negative 3 fifths, then they would truly be opposite reciprocals. But, unfortunately, they're both negative. No way is that going to be perpendicular. It's certainly not parallel because for parallel they would have to be equal. So, no, they're not equal. No, they're not opposite reciprocals of each other. Therefore, our conclusion is they are neither. They are neither parallel nor perpendicular. And we're done.